beloved ones, brothers and sisters of our hearts, we are the Pleiadian Council that has been watching over this process of transformation which has been in progress upon your planet for many decades now. And we wish to confirm for you that the process is unfolding in divine perfection even though it may not look like this on the surface, where there are many old stories and old games being played out. But we might say that the stories that are being played now are the end game. Their time is limited. Because as the energies are polarizing, there are extremes of negativity. As those whom you have placed in power over you are being motivated by their own desires for wealth and for power. They are not motivated by benevolence and the wish to do good for all. But what this is doing, as their actions become more extreme, they are in fact acting as a wake-up call to those of you who have chosen to make this transformational shift of energy with the planet out of separation and into reunion with the truth that all is one. There is only one. And you are the one. You are one with all of creation. There is only one consciousness and it is love. So when you see the extremes of man's inhumanity to the children, to the animals, to the earth, to the oceans, does it not call upon your heart? Are you not moved to compassion at the sight of a young child separated from its parents? Does your, not, does your heart not weep for the animals who suffer? And so this is the purpose of what you might call the opposite of the way that the earth herself wishes to belong. This adversarial energy, which is very present on your planet at this time, is a very necessary part of the whole process. 
It is pulling you out of your great sleep, of your comfort zone, giving you the opportunity to say, pain and suffering, cruelty are not how I choose to express myself upon this earth. Love, tolerance, acceptance, non-judgment and forgiveness. This is the energy which I choose to support upon this earth plane. So everyone who is acting out that role as adversary is giving you the opportunity to look into a mirror and say to yourself, is this what I choose to support? Or am I going to put my energy into the change, into the rebirth, which is happening all over the earth at this time? It is as if a great desert has suddenly been blessed by the rain. And all of the seeds that have been dormant are awakening into the most beautiful desert flowers. And these flowers, beloved brothers and sisters of our hearts, <coughs> they are you. You are the flower that is awakening right now upon this earth. You are the ones who are creating the new garden of love, which is the new earth. And how do you open your flower? With what do you feed it? We say to you now that the only food that is necessary is the food of love. Love transforms all. Love forgives all. Love brings light to the darkness. So no matter what situation you find yourself in, whether it be an environment of competitiveness in your work or in your play, you can bring the power of love into that place. You can begin to practice seeing through whatever is being presented on the surface to see what is going on underneath. If one of your colleagues or your 
family are acting in a way that seems unkind or mean. Try to look behind the appearance. What is going on with that person in their life that is causing them to act in a way that is not who they are? Oftentimes it is feelings of self-doubt or unworthiness that cause people to express themselves in a hostile way because they are insecure of themselves. So let your heart be your radar to feel how each one around you is suffering. What is their pain? What do they need? And you look into the eyes of each one and you transmit to them, I see you. I know who you are. Whatever is causing you pain is not who you are. So let it go and know that I love you. I see you. You are beautiful. See yourself as the gardener. All the little shoots are coming up in the garden and you have in your hand a watering can. And it is filled with the elixir of love. Which is simply the truth and the essence of who you are. You were born from love. You bring love to this earth. So you are walking around the garden and you are talking to the little flowers as you water them with the elixir of divine love. Encouraging them to open their petals, to turn their face to the sun, to blossom and to flourish. Because each being on this earth has the potential to be the most beautiful flower in the new garden, which is the healed earth. But that flower needs to be tended, to be nourished. And so it is your sacred responsibility if you should choose it to be the gardener to pour down the radiance 
of your heart to all. And that includes those who appear to be the adversaries or the enemies. Each one is playing a role. And some souls were needed to be that mirror that shows us the earth that we do not wish to support. And so we must thank these souls. Be grateful that they were willing to take on this role. Because most assuredly, they are creating karma for themselves by their selfful actions, which must be repaid in time. So bless them, pray for them. And pray that humanity awakens as quickly as possible so that these role models for the way that is ending the old paradigm of power over let us pray that awakening happens quickly. So these role models are no longer needed and the earth is restored to the garden. So beloved ones, it is most important at this time that you also take the time to feed yourself, to find the joy, to give yourself the gift of whatever lifts your heart. Take time to nurture yourself, to be in nature, to talk to the moon, the flowers, the birds, the trees, to sing, to dance, to listen to music, to receive healing or massage for your body. You are meant to be living in joy and fulfillment upon this earth. And so it is very necessary for you to make this a focus and an intention. We know that the demands of life sometimes feel overwhelming. There never seems to be enough time. Yet we do encourage you that the time for Self-nurturing is vital and it gives you more energy to do that which you have to do. So beloved ones, listen to your heart. 
What is it calling for? What is it crying for? What is your passion? What is it that makes your heart sing? Listen. And then create. Simply by making the time, but also asking if you need people to play with. Ask for them. If you need groups of kindred souls, ask for them. Because all of creation is here. to give you everything that you need so that you can fulfill your part in the awakening of the earth, which is simply the awakening to the truth of who you are as a being of immense power, light, and love, when you awaken to all of your potential, you can transform your whole arena. Your reality into something truly wondrous and amazing. So always ask for whatever you need, no matter how small or insignificant. Because each one of us here in the realms of light wishes to serve awakening humanity. And when you ask then you are giving us the opportunity to serve and to fulfill our souls. From the Pleiades, we have planted many crystals upon the earth. Throughout the time, that humanity has been present on the earth from the very first seedings. There are many of us who came to the earth and we planted crystals all over your planet. And these crystals were programmed with the frequencies for the awakening of the earth to love. And so these crystal brothers and sisters are now being brought to the surface to be of assistance to you. So we simply invite you to allow these crystal beings to interact with you, to serve you. Simply go to a store or look at the crystals that you have and you will find that one particular crystal is sparkling at you. So you hold the crystal 
and you simply intend what you would like this crystal to help you with. Because crystals can be programmed to be of service to you. And they will hold whatever program you put into them. And they will amplify your intention to help you. So carry them with you, place them by your bed when you sleep or underneath your pillow. The crystals are here at this time to assist you in your awakening process. And they invite you to use them daily for whatever you need. Beloved ones, as we look down upon the earth, we see that the light is growing. Her radiance is expanding. The consciousness of humanity is rising. You are becoming brighter. Your auras are brighter. So we say to you now to keep your focus on the realms of light. Do not be discouraged by what you see around you. But just know that it is the process. The darkness must be seen so that it can be brought back to the light. And this is what is happening now. Know that each one of you is guided by your counsels of light from the stars, from the angelic realm. You do not walk alone. We are here with you and for you. And we love you. And we leave you now with the blessing of the one.